I'm Dara O'Brien, and welcome to my special New Year Mockinani. Tonight <laughs> is all about top class live music, spectacular fireworks, and a non stop party atmosphere. At least it would be if you'd gone out. But never mind. <laughs> You're in now, so we've got half an hour of brand new material, outtakes and favourite clips from the year just gone to keep you entertained. Hope you enjoy it and happy new year. <laughs> I, I have to say, it, hasn't, it doesn't feel like the country's got football fever. In any, like, you know, there are taxis with the, the George's cross in the window. There's, there's a lot less of that than there used to be. The only piece of, of, uh, of really exciting memorabilia we found was a uh, thing that was in sale in Asda during the week. Uh, this is great. Uh, it's great for a number of reasons, not least the name of it, which we can show, is it's called Wearing Flag. Uh, <laughs> I got me wearing flag. Not Get wearable. You. Not wearing. wearable, not to be worn. Oh, me wearing flag. Uh, <laughs> but then, and then you actually get the flag out like whatever. And it, it may seem slightly transgressive to anyone watching around that I will now drape myself in the English flag. But trust me, it is, it is, it, it is worth it because it is, it has been slightly, <laughs> slightly controversial this one. For, for reasons, I, I can't quite figure why this has been as controversial as it has been. <laughs> I can't see any any kind of negative connotations with this at all. I'll tell you what, that Gandalf's let himself go, hasn't he? <laughs> Oh, Ramesh, if you're walking down the street and a number of men, enthusiastic English supporters, happen to be walking down the street towards you, they'd just been to Asda, they'd been to the... They'd also bought the burnable lawn crosses, uh, which... As I said... It's bizarre, isn't it? Is. <laughs> oh, you'll find the Death Star will be quite operational <laughs> when your friends arrive. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, Fantastic. Yeah. And, and the thing is so think... difficult is you, <laughs> you... You look racist, <laughs> but you look so adorable. <laughs> uh, what would help is if you had a flake sticking out of <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well, I like the way our stripper came as a racist. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, every year we do our traditional quiz, as you're well aware. We've done a Christmas quiz a number of years now, so, uh, so we're going to do the traditional New Year's quiz, Ooh. OK? About traditions and things that occurred around the world at this special time. OK, uh, right, quiz questions. In Peru, what anti as, a, as a New Year's tradition, what antisocial behaviour can you expect to see in New Year in Peruvian villages? How do they call in the New Year? Um, not spitting, not spitting, no. Eating guinea pigs. No, don't eat guinea pigs in this particular case. Bears throwing marmalade sandwiches at each other? You'd think that. Uh, of course, no. Kicking the shit out of Uruguayans. Um, <laughs> you're half right. Kicking the Uruguayans out no, of shit. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very charitable thing they do. They the Uruguayans burn effigies. Are... They don't burn effigies, no, they don't they burn effigies. They make little models of Uruguayans they... out of no, potatoes. The... OK, OK, sorry. <laughs> Can I just stress, it's nothing to do with Uruguay, uh, which is... <laughs> So they, beat, they kick the shit out of something. So it's an antisocial thing. Is it pranks? Well, it's a fight. It's a oh, fight. People. But who do they fight? Oh, each oh, other. Chilean. Yes, they oh. fight each other. Well done. Very good, James. Thank you very everybody much. Everybody does that, not just the Peruvians. <laughs> <laughs> but they do. Uh, they do it because apparently it leads to a clean slate. If you kind of like, it's like, the old, it's like a bit like never go to sleep on an argument. Like never go into the new year wanting to punch your neighbour in the head. <laughs> is the, <laughs> the Peruvian. <laughs> okay, right. Um, right. N question two. Yeah. Oh, this is rolling now. Uh, what did the BBC broadcast for the first time at New Year in 1923? Is it Peruvians fighting oh, each other. <laughs> the annual Peruvian fights yeah. which took mm -hmm. place. I think I know in the what Peruvian it is. Embassy. It's just going to be Big, Big Ben, ben yeah. chiming. Yes, it is yeah. Big Ben. Well done, Jack. Very good. Do you have any predictions for 2015? Well, I'm, look I'm looking for predictions for 2015 that what what's going to happen. I might grow a beard. <laughs> I don't, right really I don't know yet. The most, uh, you, you couldn't really walk into a bookies and go, what odds would you give me about me growing a beard? To be fair, I don't think I'll get very good ones. I'll race you, stuffing. Rob. I'll give you a bit of a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Will you come on, come on, blonde? Have you ever done Have you ever grown? Yeah, well, I, I did it. I tried to grow it once, like, from November and do a little moustache, but it was already blonde. You couldn't really see it. So I got my girlfriend's eyelash thing. Mascara. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and sort of uh, painted it, and I looked like Lionel Richie. <laughs> Like an Aryan Lionel Richie, like the Lionel Richie the Nazi party can enjoy. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Play hello again for us, uh, <laughs> Lionel Von Ritchie. Uh... I find it quite good. I, I did, uh, though, meet a girl who said recently, cos I thought I had a goatly beard, and she said it merely looked like I had an arrow going up my nose. <laughs> Well, on a setback to the Conservatives oh, suffered oh, just for the government. We've been looking forward to this. This is the man who, the Conservative MP, who exposed himself uh, over social media whilst wearing his blue and red paisley pyjamas. Yes. Yeah. That's that's right. Brooks and Newmark. Oh, it's quite the yes. romantic novelist name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Mark Reckless is a crazy cop mm. on the edge, but Brooks Newmark is your first pet and the road you grew up on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Do you think he looks like if you pumped up Ed Miliband? <laughs> yeah, he does, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and then just slowly let the air out of him? Uh, <laughs> I, I find myself in the odd... I don't normally feel this way, but I, I feel sorry for him. I know, I have sympathy for him as well, but the penis is not a, an attractive... <laughs> At the be no, no seduction is worth by going, well, <laughs> wait till you see this. This, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is a very beautiful thing. No, women, Actually, oh, you know, I know not know generalisation for women, yeah. but they mm. don't find men's bits, I think, as just visually well. That is a particularly lovely. Uh, <laughs> is that why there's the little opening at the front of the pyjamas? It's specifically designed for that, yeah. Oh, yeah pyjamas, so in order for you to get your junk out, quick mm. photo, pop it back in again. <laughs> In the olden days, you just pop it out of your pyjamas, quickly draw a charcoal sketch, <laughs> fold it up, give it to a carrier pigeon, then take it to a local madam. Or a grass rubbing, but um, you've got to be careful because it gets bigger as you go on. <laughs> There is a generational element to this, though, though that, that is, is very much the lingua franca for young people and their... Josh, please. Uh, I would have been, you're a young man. <laughs> uh, is this common now, just as a... Hello, you look very nice. Click, click, here you go. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> it's a standard form of address, I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> as an I, wasn't, I wasn't expecting to be put on the spot, Dara, but um, I can say that um, one of you has received a photo of me already this evening. <laughs> <laughs> And when you all go back to your dressing rooms, my cock is on your phone, darling. <laughs> well, that is... I mean, I, 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 I thought it'd be preloaded anyway, like the U2 <laughs> album. Uh, but... <laughs> that would... That, <laughs> but... That would be very exciting. I tell you all, and people would be complaining about the space that was taken up on their phones. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've got a 32 gig for this, baby. <laughs> Do you not think that wearing your pyjamas is a generational thing as well? Do you wear pyjamas? Uh, no, I don't. I, I don't. You expect me to say... You expect me to say, yes, Rachel, no, no, I don't. No, no, I wear pyjamas, but uh, just as a background for my dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> What finished it for me on the uh, pyjama front was not long ago, uh, we were sitting upstairs, before we'd even gone to bed, but ready for bed, uh, and heard the smashing of glass downstairs, uh, and I ran downstairs well, you, Your missus territorial. had just seen the photo of Josh's knob on your phone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> she was smashing my eye front of it. <laughs> yeah. What is this? What is this penis I'm flicking to your usual collection of penises? Uh, I found new penis. No, this looks like Josh Willicum. Uh, my penis doesn't look like me. <laughs> I would like to think that you put a little tiny Very curly soon. wig on the top. <laughs> the, uh, no, but I ran... It was. It was a, a picture frame had fallen off a thing and, and smashed, but it felt like somebody had broken into the house, and I feel it is much more impressive to run downstairs, like, territorially defending your house in just a pair of pants uh, in a... Rah! Take out, rather than in a pair of pyjamas, it seemed. Well, <laughs> dreadfully <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Come in. If you oh, want to be... Uh, sorry for... Uh, <laughs> the the only way to confront an invader in your home is completely naked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Semi-erect. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That, you, the semi-erect... Semi-erect. Semi-erect. Full erect, too weird. <laughs> <laughs> Our next round is called Newsreel. We play in a recent piece of footage featuring people in the news and ask you to suggest what might be being said. This week's clip features the G20 leaders. Oh, uh, Happy New Year, Mr Cameron. I'm, uh, of course, I'm the Canadian Prime Minister. Hmm. Yes, well, I know that. Have you made any New Year's resolutions? Yeah, this year I'm going to make sure that everyone knows my name. Don't be silly. Everybody already knows your name, Mr... Uh, Mr... Mr... Um, <laughs> um, 
Well, uh, Andrew, I realized here that the coffee would be shit, yet, so I went to uh, Starbucks. I got myself a venti cappuccino with a tea bag in it. You see, the thing is that people think we're dull, but they don't realize how many famous Canadians there are. There's uh, Mike Myers, Brian Adams, Keanu Reeves. Well, can I just stop you there? This is fascinating. It's so fascinating, I'm thinking of putting my head in an oven. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, uh, the list is long. Uh, Leonard Cohen, Chewbacca, he's a bear. Yeah, that's right. And uh, another one, Celine Dion. Would you believe it? Celine Dion. Gosh, Celine Dion. How interesting. That really is <laughs> fascinating. Well, welcome to this, the New Year G20 Summit. A big welcome to President Obama and sitting next to him, the man who hasn't slept for a thousand years. <laughs> so, um, I am sure I've forgotten something. What have I forgotten? Yes. But if I could remember, I wouldn't have forgotten it. <laughs> oh, my children! Where are my children? What have I done with my children? <laughs> oh, gosh. I hope I've, uh, hope I've left them with Samantha. Thinking of whom? I'll just pop in another Viagra. Thanks. But, uh... <laughs> this will later. So, just to reiterate, to qualify for second meerkat toy... <laughs> ...you must invade Ukraine. That's it. God, this is boring. Thank goodness for Radio 4. <laughs> Dum de dum de dum de dum dum de dum de dum dum. Just one more year and I'll be on a beach. <laughs> so this is the photo call. This is great. Yeah, I'll stand here. Hey, President Rousseff of Brazil, thank you very much. What a great year you provided us with that uh, World Cup. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, but if you want to see a real ball skill, come to my room, three to eight. <laughs> so, um, let me do that. Yep. I'm uh, sorry I'm late, everybody. Alex Salmond locked me in the lavatory again, so. <laughs> um, uh... Are you still I come? Look at this. This is a walk I call Crazy Cat Walk. I learned it from <laughs> Iron Robin. Anyway, here is my resolution. You will all smile, or I will have you shot. So, on the count of three. One, two, three. Beautiful. You've done it. Now, get off my territory. Stop interfering with my business. Uh, what might you see a Colombian carrying with them on New Year's Eve? A dead Peruvian. Peruvian. A Peruvian. <laughs> Peruvian, you could no longer walk. No, it's not a, a Peruvian. A kilo of cocaine. It's not a kilo of cocaine. No. Two kilos of cocaine. No, he's it's done not all the cocaine, large... that's why he's so strong. <laughs> Nothing to do with cocaine. They run with these things around the block in hope. Scissors, don't do that. No. no is, it, is it for Madonna? Is it something religious? It's not something religious, it's, no. Is it uh, deck chairs for a good view of the fireworks? Uh, <laughs> no, it's not. Is it's it like a torch, a burning torch? It's not like a burning torch, no. It's to represent travel. Oh. Wheels. No. A car. <laughs> a car. Not a car, no. Plane. No. Balloons. More, a plane. Boats. 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 They run around. Not a boat or a plane. Expedia vouchers. <laughs> <laughs> Trunky. What's it? Trunky. Close enough. Suitcase. Still there. Right. 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 Two, one. Keep going. <laughs> why were you... Why trunky? The child thing was, that you bring to an airport. I was going to go wheelie suitcase. Wheelie suitcase. No, wheelie suitcase. suitcase. No, this is not. the most fun it's I've ever trunky. had on Mock the Week. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. <laughs> Meanwhile, what has George Osborne asked the public to design? Is it a plan for the economy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it is not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really bad photo. It's... <laughs> It's a new pound coin. Uh, yes, it is a new pound coin. It's yes. a new pound coin, but they won't because it's such a big thing. They're not going to decide, are they, before the referendum's over? No. And then they're going to well, have because that would be the design, tomorrow morning. It won't be anything so, no. provocative. <laughs> I think it won't be provocative. It'll just be a, the head of the Queen will have a speech bubble on it, and coming out of the speech bubble, will just say, "Not for you, Jock." <laughs> And then it's like, it's like a Tesla with a big X over well, it. And yeah. a big X. Yeah. It's not, they're not coming out for a few years yet. Should we no. just not hedge our bets and put Charles on it? <laughs> just <in case>. <laughs> <laughs> They talk about designing pound coins. They've been designing pound coins around my way for years. 20 for 15 quid, if you're interested. <laughs> it should be something that reflects the status and value of the pound coin. That's what the design should be, mm. shouldn't it? So I think the design should probably have a picture of, like, a shopping trolley on it. And on the other side, it should say... Token. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to have the Queen's head on one side, isn't it? Yes, that, that and, remains, and, You know, and obviously, you know, every coin's got a head and a tail, so if it's got the royal head on one side, surely it should have a royal arse <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> Prince Andrew, he'd fit the bill, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> they should bring back one pound notes. That was much more fun, wasn't it? I suspect everyone feels rich. That was not in our lifetime, though. No, but I had one out of currency just because I was like, player. <laughs> 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 
that is not in your lifetime. What? No, I'm only young. Bloody hell. What? Really? When, when, did, when, when were you born? I'm um, 86. Yeah, it wasn't in your lifetime. <laughs> How long have we been fun, doing though, this show? Fun. I remember it was like Roy Bremner and Frank. How, yeah. Who are these children? I don't know. Uh, I think we'd one be day just... we'll be sitting in your seats telling yeah. people we met you. <laughs> you know, back in the day. Yeah. Oh, you know. Oh, are we know doing that. before the allegations? Yeah. <laughs> What has Gove said the schools must now promote? My new DVD. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, so he has to say British values. Yeah, oh. What has Gove said schools must promote? His new DVD. Yeah. <laughs> say that again, sorry, say that again. His new DVD. No, no, not you. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Poe in the river, said he, or sorry? It's, um... <laughs> Um, <laughs> yes, said Tigger, and we're never holidaying in Newcastle again. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this man in the news this week? He's the Prime <laughs> Minister of our country, <laughs> yes. darling. This week's clip... Ah, oh, fluffed it there, didn't I? This week's clip... Uh, <laughs> you fluffed week, it so this much as... sleep. week's clip... Yes. <laughs> So what do you want to know about me? I like reading, cinema, socialising with friends and a cheeky farm up the arse. Farm. <laughs> farm um, up the arse. That's always funny, isn't it? How oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the farm up the arse? Never got I don't know. I can think of a lot of circumstances where it's not the least funny thing in the world at home yeah. up the arse. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten. <laughs> uh, the topic is animals. Who wants to come in? That's rummish. There's no one there. How <laughs> shit would you be in the cast of the new Star Wars film? <laughs> this is a picture of David Cameron lobbying European leaders to block the appointment of former Luxembourg PM Jean-Claude Juncker as the new president of the European Commission. Oh, I fucked it up again. It's the Junker, isn't it? Fuck him and his stupid name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, the cabinet now is more Eurosceptic. Uh, but imagine uh, thinking that Europe doesn't actually exist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had a near Europe experience once <laughs> when I was on holiday in Kent. <laughs> I found myself walking along a tunnel towards the light. <laughs> In the end, someone said, Bonjour. <laughs> so unfair, I thought I led a good life. <laughs> <laughs> You're never quite sure which week Milton is actually mocking, are you? <laughs> Charlie couldn't believe he was being allowed into the chocolate factory. His girlfriend had been dead against it for years. <laughs> final question, final question. Right, this is one I do know. Uh, uh, what do the Spanish try to fit in their mouths at midnight? On Orange. Music? No. Uh, it's 12 grapes. It is 12 is grapes. It? Oh, it is 12 I've done it. I've done it. Yeah. You've done it. Yeah. It's actually it's, it is everyone in Spain does it. And and you're supposed to make you... a wish as you do each one. Do each one. Can you do it again? Well, uh, can you can do it now. see what you've got down here. Yeah, I can see where, where this is going. See us go, right? Uh, you pass them down, right? There we go. This is oh, good. Good. Really is the wish you make that you don't choke. The, uh, yeah, that would be a good thing. I'm oh, sorry, I've taken one of yours. That means I've got And I've done this many These are really quite big grapes as well. These are like these are like figs. I am betting none of us get more than three or four. Have we got gongs? No, it's but it's one on each bong and you've got in. You gotta in right there. Bongs, no, we haven't. We've prepared oh, bombs. Oh, he's got it! 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 He's got it!
Oh, OK. Do you know what? Yeah. As, as, as like punishment, yours. as punishment, you have to do another 12. Uh, yeah. when we do the actual yeah. All right. Are okay. you going to use the buzzer for the gongs? I'm not going to use... Stop it! <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> we have to do. Okay, Grant. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> finally, this is my turn to do this stuff. Right. Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> there we go. Right. Uh, uh, against the bongs, you have to get to get to see if I can okay. get. It's bad. The spines are very good. Against the Are you not allowed to swallow any of them? Or you what? do yeah. swallow them. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it's, not, it's not that. It's not like you can shove twelve grapes in there. You eat them. You have to eat the grapes. Can you fit 12 grapes in your mouth? What? No, that's not what it is, because that would be really easy. Oh, no, especially when you're the, saying, the oh, challenge is, no. can you eat 12 grapes yes. in a row? Yes. <laughs> OK. <laughs> let's okay. do this okay, game. Let's, see. let's go for the bonds, right? Can we do the Peruvian one now? <laughs> <laughs> but surely, if you go go on a website that you you shouldn't really be on, you just delete history, don't you? I mean, the tricky bit is not deleting history. The tricky bit is then going on all the innocuous websites afterwards, so as it doesn't look like you've deleted history. That's, <laughs> that's the tricky bit, isn't history it? History seems to be very empty in this computer because yeah, I saw you on it all evening yesterday. Yeah, yeah. No. I never touched the. I've never honest, like maybe, yeah. <laughs> yes. Private browsing, Andy. Private browsing. <laughs> uh, my my favourite member of the Army Corps. Private browsing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good afternoon, private browsing. Are you on duty again? I certainly am. <laughs> I shall be protecting you from any inappropriate sites. Private browsing, performing for duty. Pants down, private mm. browsing in here. <laughs> I shall protect your browsing while you shop for gifts for your wife. Because <laughs> that is apparently what private browsing was invented <laughs> for. for. I love that. Oh, I mean, I've got I'm private browsing on because I'm shopping for some gifts for my wife. Oh, really? You seem to be buying her pornography. Uh, are you sure this is the gift she particularly wants? <laughs> Papa Brothers! Good morning for She told me that her favourite film as a child was Double Fist and Fist. Papa Brothers isn't happy with it. Papa Brothers has never had to work under these conditions before. Uh, he's mainly used for shopping for gifts. <laughs> Private browsing is retraining as an electrician. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you leave the army? Oh, the things I saw. <laughs> I saw, oh, I saw some things. I saw some things. You were there, man. You were there. You were there. You didn't see what I saw. <laughs> the first casualty of war, my friend. <laughs> Your private browsing, the first casualty of war, is innocence. <laughs> private browsing. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like Benny Hill. I don't know that. I've been building at your service. Oh, no, Benny Hill. Madam. Benny Hill would do. <laughs> no, it'd be like, you know, that, that um, uh, what's it, the paper clip that would appear? It seems oh, like yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you're buying some pornography. A small animated soldier came out and said, Do you want to look at the porn? Private uh, <laughs> browser can help you with that. <laughs> I'm losing myself here. The last record of a long summer, you know. Mm -hmm. Literally, I, I should, I've got to enjoy this because in three days' time I'll be going. Over the next twelve weeks, twenty candidates will be putting yeah. themselves under <laughs> yeah. yeah. sugar. Private yeah. Browning's going to get some visit. <laughs> He's going to get some fucking hammering. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think your what? penis is going to get some corporal punishment. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some major damage <laughs> <laughs> and general recklessness. Uh, <laughs> What new trend and Colonel Abrams? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a 
<laughs> Sorry, I'll, we'll bring it back. <laughs> Lost it. Oh, yeah. Oh, stop. Current Labour's is great, though. Uh, <laughs> None of you remember... Do you any of you may even remember current names? Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. he sang a song called Trapped. It was really good. I can't uh, get out. I'm trapped <laughs> like a fool. I'm in a cage. <laughs> I'm like a man in a cage. I'm so in love with you, love with you, love with you. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, you don't even carry on with the show. Uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you, you boys have got a shared past. We can only imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> Something is unlikely things to hear at New Year. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and some prawn crackers. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> My New Year's resolution is to try new and interesting ways of doing things. That's why I'm stirring the punch with my cock. <laughs> I've just had a glass of this punch. <laughs> My prediction for this year is that I will make a high-pitched sound, there will be a buzzing noise, and then I will die. I'd murder a bit of turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Happy New Year! Oh, I'm so glad you're here. I want a divorce. <laughs> oh, now it's time for Big Ben. I'll put the music on. Ben, get your kicks off. <laughs> Hoot and Nanny, the topless bar for the gentleman who prefers the older lady. <laughs> <laughs> of course I can stay up till 12. I'll just have another Viagra. <laughs> Last New Year's party really ended with a bang for me when I drunkenly mistook a party popper for a tampon. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Commercials that never made it to air. Yorkshire tea. The taste of Yorkshire. Bitter. <laughs> <laughs> we got surprises in store. The escalator's broken and the staff know fuck all. <laughs> Dignitas. It's not au revoir. <laughs> Have you had an accident that wasn't your fault and has ruined your life? Next time, use Durex. <laughs> if you can find it cheaper anywhere else, tell us and we'll burn their shop down. <laughs> the DFS sale has ended. Have you been injured whilst doing voluntary work? Well, it's your lookout, isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> the Dyson hand dryer. The perfect way to drown out the sound of somebody having a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Papa? Papa? No, I'm sorry, Nicole, we've lost him. little wine, because poor people shouldn't have to drink cider. <laughs> <laughs> but what if the worst happens? Who gives a shit? You'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> News International. When you talk, we listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that, that is the thing. I, I, I did go to Specsavers. Ah. 
Milk. Try and forget it came out of a cow's tits. <laughs> Have you booked Joe Hart to advertise your product? Have you paid for advertising space until the end of the World Cup? Then you may be entitled to compensation. <laughs> The end of the air, the point of Josh, Andrew and Andy! Yeah. Yeah, you know, have a happy new year from, from this team. Happy new year! Happy, happy new, new year! year. <laughs> <laughs> from this side. Happy, happy, happy new, new year. year. <laughs> happy new year, that's all from the summer week. Thank you very much. See you in 2015. Yeah.